All right, here we are in the finals. Yeah, we're gonna play first. Um, this seems fine. We need to draw a blue or a green source to cast this or this, but we can cast this and have this going too. So we're not gonna mulligan this one. This one seems totally fine to me. Um, I'm gonna lead with an island though. Could lead with factory, but I wanna be able to play one of these. Like I wanna be able to jace if that's what we want. Oh, they're weathered wayfair her, okay. Um, we drew Volcanic, so we can turn three Jace or Edric, more lands, well we're going to have to play land, I mean he's going to get a chance to kind of go off with that, unfortunately we have three of our like not that many non-basics here so if he goes and gets like a strip mine or something, he's gonna be able to just get us. I guess strip mine hits us anyway, though. Um, but our green source is probably a little bit more valuable in that case. How do I plan for losing a land here? Um, don't really know. Colors don't matter, so I guess I'll just play a factory here. <clears throat> I mean, he does have to use his turn to do this, potentially, so that's kind of nice. I mean, I'm not happy that he's getting value, obviously, but... Let's see what he gets. Tomb, all right. Playing the tomb. All right. This works out. We draw Vencer, that's not too bad. Um, but let's get Edric on the table because this is going <clears> to <throat> make him do something. And I kind of like making him do something. Um, our goal is to cast an equip so sort of body and mind uh, in a couple of turns. You're going to need a creature on, on board to do that, but... He is... We already saw Dismember. Oh, that must have been a different draft. All right, so Dismember. Um, cannot cast Master. So I think what we do is just ship. And I think we're going to Vencer something. And then we're going to cast an Equip Sword of Body and Mind. Doesn't take too many hits from sort of body and mind to kind of destroy somebody, so. Jite. Well, speaking of destroying people. Um Vencer. Am I Vencering Jite or am I gonna Vencer this thing? Uh, probably still Jitte, I guess. This makes him discard something, which is... He's got eight cards, so it's not like a big deal. He's ground us out with a bunch of uh, activations of Wayfair. I could have bounced this, but the problem is he can just cast like any two or three drop and still have enough to equip Jitte, and I, that's the part that I don't like here. Uh, we can remand Jate. No, screw that. Let's make some wolves. So he can hit us with, with Jate on his Wayfarer, but we get to block with a wolf, and he still doesn't have anything to deal with this at the moment because his Jate won't be big enough. But Remand isn't really going to help us in a big way, and I mean, we're going to get to draw a card with Jace, I guess, which is fine. That sucks. 
And that really sucks. Um, because we can't cast Master. So, Jace, draw a card. Hope to get lucky. Oh, we did get lucky. Um, I'd like to keep up Romand, but we got to get this Ancestral Vision out of our hand here. And then we're just going to cast Master of the Wild Hunt and hope that it sticks. He's still got a million cards in hand. We can reload down the line with this, hopefully, but... Awkward needing to cast double blue but and then use up another one but i i just <laughs> with ancestral you just have to get it out of your hand and plus it's just remand like it's not like we're ahead right now i like the ability to protect master for a turn though uh potentially that's really good but the problem is like he can just slam so many things he can just make a titan and just get us I guess one Titan's already in the yard, though. Uh, Grave Titan, Weather Reefer, Wrath of God, Pilgrim, Dismember, and a ton of lands. Alright. We know he still has what's it called. Jitte in his hand, too. Fortunately for us, this guy's a 3 3, so an active Jitte doesn't kill it on its own. Yeah, this, this is going to get weird. This turn is huge, obviously. Like, if he, if he plays some just big tough to deal with thing that doesn't care about this, then then we're in big problems. Well, I would say that that counts sort of. I mean, it's not great against Master, but that would have been a sweet thing to remand. <laughs> Can't lie. Uh, we're drawing a card. Master of the Wild Hunt, I can equip, but I don't think it does much here. He's not playing blue at all, and green kind of is whatever. So I think I'd rather just not equip right now and leave up Remand slash Mistress Factory. Roman probably doesn't do anything here. I mean, he has to have like Elish Norn or some just massive tap out situation for it to really matter. Most likely, we're just going to end up seeing a Jitte out of him. All right, well, this could be good. Cost four, cost five. This could be good. Marari's Wake. Uh, we must remand this. Because it allows him to cast an equipped Jitte. And if we remand it, then he can only cast... Ooh, and we picked up a Ralzeric. Ralzeric could be interesting. Yeah, you got a Jitte, though. That's annoying as hell. Um, is he going to throw away a Soldier token to kill this and then take a hit, potentially? He's not going to take a hit. Yeah, he'll, he'll throw away a Soldier to kill Jace here, for sure. Yeah, we're in big trouble. Elspeth is a major issue. Oh, he didn't. All right. So we get to draw an extra card off of that, too, so that's kind of nice. Okay, getting a little value here, trying to come back. Uh, cashing this thing in for a card. Hmm, I wonder if actually I just start drawing both of us. He's actually at 12. No, he'll kill us pretty quickly. He's at 12 cards is what I, was, what I meant. Um, I can use Ral Zarek to help keep Elspeth in check. He's got infinite chump block, so our sort of body and mind is, is clearly much, much worse. I can target him with this. I feel like we're going to be dead, though, by the time it happens, but yeah, let's, let's keep Jace alive. Um, so he goes to equip Jitte. I can use Master of the Wild Hunt to, and the Wolf to kill something. And this none of this really ends well for me, <laughs> but uh, let's we can give it a shot. Especially because we have these three extra lands in hand, that's pretty brutal. 
Um, what can I? I can untap some stuff and not really do anything. I'm just going to uh, keep Elspeth in check. Because if she ultimates, then I lose on the spot. Which one should I equip to? I guess Master. Oh, nice. It's not actually combat either. So this actually isn't too bad for me here. Uh, whatever he equips Jitte to, after once we're in combat, I can do blocks however I want, and then I can make the Master of Wild Hunt fight that one, and they don't it's not actual combat damage. They just deal damage to each other. So here comes Marari's Wake, which is going to make all his guys 2-2s, two though. Uh, which still d shouldn't matter for that. I mean, it does mean my Planeswalkers are going to be dead, and or, or me soon, but... I can train off my Mishra's Factory for one of them as well. I can keep Umazawa's Jitte in check. I cannot control Elspeth, though. Elspeth is a big, big issue. Like, she's going to be back up to four, so Ral Zarek's double bolt isn't going to get that done. I still have a whole other turn to wait for Ancestral. Yeah, we're in trouble. This is this is very bad. He gets to dump his whole hand. We have nothing. All right. Obviously, I can't do anything about that. It also means he doesn't care about sort of body and mind. Yeah, you made that happen. And are these all going to hit Ral? Are three of these going to hit Ral or something? Or what are we doing? Me. No. Change his mind. Ral. 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 So that's enough to... Uh, not enough to kill Ral. Oh. This one's got to hit Ral, though. No. I mean, it's not going to matter. Elspeth plus Mirari's Wake is going to be enough to just destroy me anyway. This is a bad... At yeah, okay, he's unattacking now. So let's just let him figure it all out. Because I'm going to be able to activate Factory, block one, block one with the Wolf, block one with Master of the Wild Hunt, and then have the Wolf fight the one with, with Jitte on it. But it's not going to... He left one back. Oh, he's got to leave one back for this. All right, so me, me, him, him, him. All right, so what can we do here? He's tapped out. So I need to I need to kill this one. I need to use the wolf to kill this one so that I can get in there. That's not going to do anything. I don't know why he left one back. He's going to have three more tokens. So I might as well save Ral. So this is Ral. Me. So I block this one. I shoot this one. All right, let's let's do this. I'm not going to be able to kill him with damage unless I get rid of Elspeth, and that doesn't look like it's going to happen anyway. So this is a three-three blocker, though. Oh no, it's not. I don't have enough mana. Yeah. Oh well. I'll just trade it, I guess. I need to try to control this board as much as I can. I I, I don't. I think we're just drawing like either thin to dead here because of this. But I may be wrong. And I'm certainly not going to give up just because I can't think of what I can draw quite right away. I mean, I could draw a sword. That would do it. Okay, so blockers. Um, this one I'm going to shoot, so I don't need to block it. This one I can block... This one I'll just chump lock here. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I'll have to explain that to you in a minute there, you Redukian levels of niceness. Um, that's going to get shot. That's blocked, that's blocked. I'll just block this, I guess. I mean, I could wait one turn, but I really feel like I want to try to keep this board on lockdown. All right, so then this is going to fight this. T 
Tapple on tap wolves each target creature. This guy. Okay, so we get to keep Ral, and that's going to give us at least a fighting chance here, potentially, to keep Elspeth in just some level of check. But in reality, it, pretty thin here. Okay. This. Kitchen Finks. It's a good card. Um, what's my play here? Don't know if I really have a great one. Yeah, I don't. Uh, so this is just desperation time, but I'm going to kill Ralzeric to make Elspeth back down to one. Um, I'm going to play Kitchen Finks. I'm going to say go. Leaves him with no great attacks this turn. I get to kill four of his guys if he attacks. But he does get to kill a wolf and a Finks. But, I mean, this is an issue. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can beat that. He's got some good stuff against us, too. Um, Wrath is good against us. Abrupt Decay is good against us. This Planeswalker is very good against us. Marari's Wake and Jitte or whatever, like we can de we can work around those. All right, here's Vraska now. So he's going to blow up Master of the Wild Hunt. Yeah, we're just dead here. Um, sure, I'll trade off a wolf while I can. I mean, it doesn't really do anything different. Oh! He blew up the sword. Pfft. I thought he blew up the master. Well, well now I'm going to take some extra damage. I could have left this back. I could have had this and the wolf. So I could have taken four less. Jeez. He blew up the sword. I can't believe it. I, I could have prevented this thing from happening. I mean, this is probably all a moot point. But, like, still, I would have preferred to play it that way um i guess we'll see what we get off visions and then see how we want to proceed but <clears throat> i was planning on trying to go with jason and then target him with visions but i can't <laughs> like i can make him draw three but that's not gonna yeah all right now he can now he can gain life with jitte yeah we're just way dead here You can gain life twice with Jitte and make these all 100, 100. That's the, uh, that's the count. Yeah, we don't have upheaval or anything along those lines. And for some reason, he's main phasing this. I don't know why he would do that. Like, what if I earthquake him or, or play, uh, you know, do four to all your creatures or something. It's just very strange. And he let me have this still. It was just very weird. I, I, I'm i very confused by his line with that. I, Unless I'm missing something. Because the sword wasn't doing anything. All right. Um, I'm going to concede here. In the interest of time. I mean, normally I'd make him attack me, but, like, he'll attack me. Um, naturalize, you can come in. Uh, Trigon Predator is good against him, that's for sure. Uh, I think Wasteland comes in as well. Uh, memory Lapse. Probably is okay. I think I want to go a little more controlling on him if I can here. Um, I like this. I, I like the, the tough to deal with stuff. I think Treachery will still be fine against him. Aetherling can get to his Planeswalker, so I want to leave that in. Finks just seems okay against him, but he did have some spot removal, and I can I can work around that, so that's nice. So maybe I don't actually bring in mem Memory Lapse, and I think I pull... Like, these two are for sure in. I'm going to pull Factory. Even though I really like it, um, 
I like Treetop Village for our man land, and I want to I want to have access to wasteland here. What am I pulling? This stuff all seems just fine against him. You might. I better tell that other guy real quick before I forget about him too. No, not you. You have it. No, not you. Where'd that guy go? This guy. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I just wanted to let that guy know. Um, okay, so any other cuts here? Uh, ancestral still seems good. This stuff, like all this other stuff, we just need to cut something that's like maybe not great. This is obviously awesome. I think this is going to be good against him too because I want to be able to get to his planeswalkers. Edric definitely takes a hit, but I don't really want to cut a creature. Uh, I do not have time for a quick chat. I'm sorry. I've got 24 seconds to make one cut here. Maybe I'll just cut Goyf. Goyf's not amazing anyway. Don't really love to cut a creature there, but yeah, I think it's fine. All right, so we can Black Lotus into something. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. <clears throat> I can play a turn one Edric. If he has, that actually seems sweet because I get to draw the card right back again. Th it could go awry, but not really horribly. Like... It's a bummer if, if he has a one mana removal spell for my guy, but it's not the end of the world. And if he doesn't, I get to kind of just draw a bunch of cards. So that's kind of nice. Go ahead. So hopefully he doesn't have Dismember or something. Because if I can just hit once with this, I'll be pretty happy. You know, to Riku the, the card from Black Lotus. Doesn't look like he has it because I think he, sh you know, he wouldn't have waited until I like I played an island and then had a counter spell or something. Um, all right, so we get to get the card back, so that's nice. Uh, unfortunately, no blue mana, but a sword is nice. All right, so this could work. Let's see if he's got a doom blade. He does not, but good enough. All right, so. This is good, though, because this can work uh, on Treetop Village as well. Like, it, this thing can't block, so we can do either one. And just put a ton of pressure on him. In a perfect world, we draw an island, but it is asking a bet here. Four mana... Four mana, two black. This could be planes. This could be anything. Garrick, fight my guy. All right, that seems fine. I'm gonna have to kill Garrick now. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's a bummer, but oh, actually, I can't kill Garrick now, can I? Oh, I mean, I can kill Garrick now, but I can't actually get a sword hit in. Right? Because it costs two. All right. Well, I. Guess I'll just kill Garrick, which is still fine. Okay. All right. So it worked out for us. Um, I do get to equip and attack next turn. And I can attack right through this thing. And once I start making wolves, then it, it, it his, bla his uh, counter is uh, what's it called? Uh, spot removal gets a lot worse. Um, we're a little all in right now, though, because like I am going to have to just move in on Treetop Village here, so that's a little rough. One, two, three, four, five mana. Oh, he's going to play the Vraska or something? Just blow this thing up. Mind Twist? What is this? What is this? He doesn't even know what this is. What's going on here? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, Marari's Wake. Okay, sure. I mean, unhappy, I am, but what am I going to do? Um, yeah, and I, th I I still feel like I don't want to leave up Counterspell here. I think I just want to equip and, and get him. Like, I get a big mill out of the deal, and I only have to hit a couple of times before I can just win with this. Plus, it's more damage right now and a wolf. 
It's just got to be better to do it that way. I mean, I'm pretty scared about what he's going to do when he untaps here, but, like, he's just going to overwhelm me anyway. Though I suppose if he just untaps and plays Elspeth, I just kind of lose. So maybe I should have been a little more conservative. Liliana Vess. Searching. Okay, that this much I can handle, but it's only lands, right? Whenever you tap a land, yeah, so he's going to have two, four, five mana available. He's putting something on top of his library. So now next turn, I actually just, uh, I just have to equip to this and get him. Because I have to leave Counterspell up. But that would put him at eight cards. If I can make that hit, I think I'm okay because I can protect like against something catastrophic. Like Grave Titan would have been a deal breaker. But it's in the yard. He's searching for something. Put something on top. Don't play anything else. I'm just going to hit him if I get the opportunity. Oh, he's got other stuff. The Abyss. So I have to destroy my creature. Oh, and I hit Trigon Predator. Wow. So activate, equip, and I don't have enough to, to protect myself. Um... I can do that next turn. I can't play Predator because it doesn't do anything here. I can kill Liliana, but who cares? He drew something ridiculous. He does have to kill this, right? Is it target? It is target, right? Uh, but he controls this, so I think this thing can target that, so his carry added should be dead. I think I just have to wait. Ugh, this makes me super nervous, but I think I just have to wait. All right, so kill your carry added. And then pff, I just have to counter stuff that gets in the way of this attacking. I had my other sword that actually protects from this. All right, so he's going to play Vraska and leave himself two, four, five mana left over. I need that sword, and I so I, I just have to counter here. All right, so if he has something else, then we're in very bad shape actually, because he can still find a Elspeth somewhere. But all right, he's letting us go. But you know, now we have to. We're relying pretty hard on our uh, Treetop Village. Ooh. Oh, that might be very good. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, six, seven. I can make a million Avenger tokens, and then the Abyss doesn't do anything to me anymore because I have like six or seven of those. Or I can move in right now, activate, equip Treetop Village, hit this thing. I think Avenger's better. Yeah, I think Avenger's better. It, it forces him to Wrath, and then I can just do the treetop plan if that doesn't work. But the Abyss, it makes it means like I can play my Trigon Predator next turn. He probably is is his Yeah, his wrath is is still around somewhere. Oh, I guess I can't do that because I needed to play my land, I forgot. Okay, well that plan doesn't happen, but I still have a sword with a million creatures. There's the wrath. This is the big play here though. Jitte doesn't matter. Alright, so let's see if he's got removal. Because this is our plan.
Just going to attack him here because this is going to leave him with six cards left and I get a wolf. The wolf dies, I guess, so it doesn't matter. But All right. We milled. Jeez, he's got Karn as well. I like his deck. Thrag Tusk. All right. We did it. That was a squeaker, though. Man, his deck is a lot... It's definitely, I don't know if it's better than ours. It probably is. It's probably just way better than ours. Um, what do we want here, though? Memory lapse? Do we just want I mean, now that we've seen, like, he's got, like, a million counters. I mean, he's got, like, a million big stuff. He's got, like, a bunch of stuff we don't care about. And then some huge cards that we, like, absolutely can't deal with. I don't want to go down to eight creatures here, but I feel like I need to. Because he just keeps windmilling these massive spells, and like if, like it makes it so much harder for us to win when he has them. All right, Black Lotus with Avenger. And we get to go Ancestral Mana Leak. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, we're not going to be Black Lotusing on turn one this time, but... Wow, Mox Ruby. Wow, we're going to get that Avenger out quickly, though. It's not going to be, like, super impressive. Um, I still want to just Ancestral here, I think. And then... Actually, I think I am just going to Black... Is there anything on turn two that I really, really, really care about? Is there any reason not to play the Black Lotus here? Like, if he kills it, do I really care that much? Because, I, I mean, I could leave Mana Leak up. I, I, I can't think of anything, though, that he's going to do that I have to sacrifice my Lotus to Mana Leak. Because next turn I get to play Treetop Village, Mox Ruby, and then leave up leave up Mana Leak while having Treetop there. Um, and I don't mind if my hand gets kind of emptied out, even if it's an Avenger for, like, three or four or whatever. That's actually fine by me. Um, because... Uh, because I've got Ancestral to reload. And I think that Avenger's just going to be super, super good against him. Alright, I also think that he has uh, Wrath. So we're going to need to use this Mana Leak appropriately. Um, so right now we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can actually go off now, but we're not going to... We're just going to wait... I guess I should have just attacked with the with with the treetop if that was, oh he's missing land drops, this could be good. We're not going to get too overexcited here, but this could be good. So I can play it, do it. So right now I need to wait one more turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I can play a land and only have one. But I need to have mana leak up. So instead, I'm going to just hit him with this, and just leave remand up. No, he's going to dismember here. Um, that does put us a turn back, but we're going to have that land next turn anyway. So, sure. You did it. Once we get Avenger going, though, we don't really care about much. Ooh. Finally, we draw that against him, too. That's a good one. Okay, so lands, stuff. Batter skulls and all types of fun things. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven. So we do need to wait one more turn still, but that doesn't mean I can't start applying pressure here on some level. Um, I feel like I want to leave mana leak up sort of indefinitely, but... I think I can get away with a seren Serendibifreet here. And uh, just start beating him down with this thing, making him do stuff. Stuff we need to mana leak. Um, well, there's not a... I mean, there's some cards. Like, I'm really just worried about getting this thing Wrath, but we have a, m a much better plan now after that.
Hmm. Now I wonder if I just mana leak it now. No, I don't think I do. I, now I think I can just save my mana leak for some other thing. Because now I get to have the world here. Th so I go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, play a land, etc. Ooh, we even draw our sideboard card. That's nice, too. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then play a land. Yep. Yeah. So this gives us one, two, three, four guys that are all bigger now. And I don't think he has a second wrath effect, but even if he does, we can just snap it off with mana leak. Oh, he does have a second one. All right, well, get that out of here. And now we're going to hit him for a million plus a sword. And we're going to get back Serendibifreet, I think. Absolutely would love to use that. Thank you for asking, Moto. This happens. Um, equipping nothing. All right, we got there. So uh, we managed to pull that one out. That last one was rough, though. Uh, that one's one that I think can go either way a lot of the times. But uh, we got to craft that game a little bit more uh, because he stumbled once on on mana drop and then also because we had black lotus which let us kind of craft the game towards a different plan uh, if you guys want to send an email very easy to do lr at lrcast.com you can also follow me on twitter marshall underscore lr if you want to join the limited resources clan that's also easy to do just send me a message like you've seen here and uh and i'll get you an invite the only rules are that you love magic and you're not a jerk very easy um, for all things limited resources, the, you know, you can find links to my articles there. You can find uh, the actual podcast itself, all types of stuff. Um, LRcast.com. See you next time.